first diecast of the decade. Here's Kevin Harvick's 2020 Bush Light Ford Mustang. Hello, daddy folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. And yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. That says Bush. And it is a 2020 Harvick. The first 2020 diecast on Diecast Buffet. Wow. Holy cow, man. This is the brand new Harvick Bush Light Ford Mustang. One thing that's obviously extremely different to this diecast is the box. I mean, my goodness, look at this thing. Uh, it is drastically different. Uh, the first thing that bugs me about it, though, is the back of it looks like a barnyard. I'm sorry, it looks like a barn. Um, I like the top of it. It's kind of sleek, kind of like a brushed metal look. Uh, let's compare it here. This is the 2019 uh, Hooters joint. This is from 2019, of course, and you can just you can kind of see how this one's kind of like a plain, kind of like a dirt effect on the side, while this one kind of has like a faint checkered flag. But I just I'm not digging this ribbon. I'm sorry. Um, I I just wish they would put color on it. I mean, I don't care if the box is red. Like it's so plain. I know they want to make it generic for every paint scheme, but that's why you enable team prints. Like if you're if you're gonna make a, a box that says Stuart Haas Racing and Kevin Harvick, at least allow the teams just allow the teams to build a color them. Just make the ribbon a different color. Something. I mean, this it looks like a freaking episode of Back at the Barnyard. I mean, look at this. I mean, look, it looks like a freaking barnyard. I mean, this kind of like has a carbon fiber sleek kind of like, you know, it shines there when it says action and kind of dims down in the corners. This looks like a freaking, uh, I'm just waiting for the rooster to crow over here, man. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this Ford Mustang out of the box. The 2020 Kevin Harvick <laughs> light Ford Mustang. Now, the first thing that comes to mind here and um, for better or worse, is the new Goodyear lettering. Um, a lot of people probably uh, will notice this as well, but just just kind of squint your eyes a little bit. Does that not look like a PTC tire? I, I'm just saying. I mean, just look at that. I mean, the lettering is the exact same as the PTC tire, but it's on the L mold. I mean, it says L right there, so uh, it is on the the good mold. But I just I am not digging the new 2020 wheels, and they did this to some of the 2019s as well. Uh, the new Goodyear. Uh, tire print. I mean, maybe it's just for some of the cars, but I personally don't like it. I just it looks it, it looks like they took a step back. Like the it looks kind of like how the 2003 cars had, where they're just like planted on the side, and then as the COTs came in, they started making them a little bit more three dimensional, and now it's just kind of back to that side. I'm just I'm just not digging that. Look at that right there, 2019 Mustang. I know it's a 2019 Mustang mold, but they could just update the year model, but um. Guess they didn't want to do that, so technically this is a 2019 Mustang after all. Now don't worry, we'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison later in the video between the 2019 Bush Light car as well. So uh, stay tuned for that one. Got Bush Light brewed in the USA, Anheuser, Bush, St. Louis, uh, Missouri. We got Ford here. I mean, just look at the nose here. I mean, just so much detail, man. I mean, just unbelievable amount of detail but you do see a double decal um overlap here unfortunately i gotta say man the nose on this one looks pretty sharp sure the headlights are a little bit lower than i'd like but that looks pretty good man i'm just saying it looks pretty freaking good uh, black splitter it looks kind of like the, the the grill for some reason it looks a little bit more three-dimensional than usual uh Stuart Haas racing only sunoco and sunoco once again wow and just take a look at those air pockets on the nose wow uh, great job <laughs> Over here to the left side. I this 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 arcs the living crap out of me Why the heck is the Goodyear logo have like a like a John Deere throw up green on the back side of it? I don't understand that at all But you can kind of see the Goodyear tires and just look how bulky and like ugly that print is on the tires I'm sorry that looks like hogwash. I'm sorry. It looks like hogwash and you might be thinking well diecast buffet you're, you're you're full of it. You're crazy, right? Well, uh, not so fast. Check this out right here. This is a 2018 Jamie McMurray joint, right? Look at the tires right here. Now, take a good look at the tires and, and just, just, just look at it from a, from a distance. Notice how the top one's a little bit more closer to the rim and how it's kind of at a three-dimensional angle, while the one on the bottom is just flat and it's on the outside of the tire. 
I'm sorry, but the old version looks so much better than this crap. I'm sorry, this 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 just irks me. It looks like the 2003 wheels where it's just paint on the side. This is actually like three-dimensionally put into the tire. I just think that's a step back, guys. So over here on the left side of the car, you got NASCAR Cup Series. Of course, there's no Monster Energy. Apparently, they're having like four title sponsors or something like that. Like they're going to be sponsoring segments of the season. I don't know. Uh, NASCAR Race Car, 3M, Lincoln Welders horrendous background job on those uh but i gotta say man they're just a beautiful three-dimensional like background here though uh, the four is off-centered as well but you can just see all the just the trees the mountain just beautiful man you got you kind of have like this dark transition right here i love that behind the bush can uh ford mobile one haas hunt brothers pizza a really terrible job right here matching the background color on the decals um, you, they have the technology to match that. I know they do, and that's just being them. That that's just being lazy. I'll be honest with you. Um, you got the uh, the black trim right here, the side skirt, bush lights, uh, Jimmy John's, Haas, American Ethanol, Mobile One, and that's the only sponsor on the C pillar. Over here on the caboose, you got bush light. I like that blue on the bush light. Looks really good. I mean, just look at that. That's gotta be one of the prettiest back bumpers to ever wrap a Gen Six car. I'm just saying, man. That is just beautiful, man. I mean, and also notice the new license plate. That's different as well. Mobile One got the four. I mean, this thing's just beautiful, man. This is just beautiful. Great job on uh, Stuart Haas Racing's part. And they cover the transition with like a dark blue. And I love that. They hide the the transition, and it just it just lets you captivate the natural beauty of the outdoors. Over here to the right side of the car, got Kevin Harvick, got NASCAR race car. I uh, got the bush light can bush uh looks like the logo might be a little bit off centered on this one like the background's a little off so there is some issues and those are going to be uh in my opinion probably even more common in 2020 than ever you know some people thought that the the cup banners would be back on these die casts uh nope they are not there's no cup banners here uh unfortunately lionel is continuing to uh to ignore that which i personally am okay with because i don't even like name banners i won't clean windows that's just me uh you got the mobile one joint here now i know that's off centered pretty bad there uh harvick uh you got bush light on the deck lid uh but yeah just beautiful shade of blue wow all right folks check this out now it's time for the ultimate die cast comparison here uh wow we got the 2019 joint got the 2020 joint here and uh, first things first, the wheels are just, they're driving me nuts, man. They're like PTC looking tires, okay? So uh, that's already a big oof by Lionel there. Uh, the B post decal on the 2020 is just screwed up as I'll get. 2019 Kevin Harvick decal is just unbelievably off center. There's a whole lot less uh, contingencies on the 2020 compared to 2019. And of course, over here on the roof, the top being the 2019 and the bottom being the 2020, you can see how Jimmy John's. Uh, is off of the roof flaps on the 2020 and mobile ones up there. The sky above the uh, the mountains here on the front logo. It's a little bit darker on the 2019, a little bit brighter on the 2020. And you go over here to the nose, it's pretty well the same. Of course, the car on the right is the 2020, so the Mustang decal is a little bit smaller. Uh, the logo is definitely different on this one. Uh, the Mustang logo is a lot more potent. And of course, the right side of the car, uh, definitely a big difference once again with the Jimmy John's logo. Very uh, little there, but uh, uh, definitely a, a big difference in the 2020 joint. I mean, of course, 2020 is the top car here, and the, even the Goodyear logo um, above the left and front wheels. Uh, that's it, have that oof looking background there. Well, guess what? Same thing with the 2020 joint oof and over here is the back end of the car and you can see over here on the right side is the 2020 you can see the back tail lights are pretty well skewed but uh, nonetheless the same style paint scheme notice that the red over here on the license plate is now green and there's no mobile one logo on the 2019 on the left side of the bumper well folks that is the first 2020 die cast to be released in my opinion you know it's a pretty good paint scheme to start off with the quality, though, is still the same, if not worse, with the Goodyear tires. I mean, they're the same tire mold, but the lettering is just driving me nuts. That just looks like PTC tires. I'm sorry. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hope you're having a great one, folks. Diecast Buffet, signing off.